Good evening, YouTube. Woo! Sorry. Okay. Um, but we do have a little friend over here chilling with us. I just cleaned this entire glam room. Y'all, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was a whole lot, a lot of. Okay. This is a Shop My Stash video. It was supposed to go up yesterday. Today is Sunday. So y'all didn't get this on Saturday. Um, some of my friends and I did a massive makeup look on Friday night. We did a live over on Instagram. And then last night, as most of you have seen, or maybe not, we did a live here on my YouTube channel, a live mukbang, mukbang, muk, whatever it is. It has been so busy. Jeremy and I went grocery shopping yesterday. Actually, we took Caitlin with because she had to go um, to Walmart too. So it's been a lot. It is now three o'clock and I'm just now doing this on Sunday. Jeremy and I went and had brunch, a brunch date at a like hole in the wall kind of place that, okay, we've lived in this town for five, six years and we just now went there. I don't know why we do that. I don't know. Um, but we'll be going back again because it was so good. So good. All right. I'm going to stop. Normally I do a pick my palette over on my Instagram page. Um, I didn't, didn't, didn't do it. Didn't do it. But this palette, Wet n Wild 40 palette, got a lot of use. Um, I will put up pictures of the makeup that I did use this past week, which was a lot. So you're, you're in for a surprise on that one. So. I love this palette. It is $20. You can only get it on the Wet n Wild website. She is going back in. Now, the other palette, eyeshadow palette from last week was the um, Nomad Collection Tokyo palette. She didn't get used at all, so I'm going to leave her up there. We're going to try and use her again. For those of you who are new, because I... I after Miss Nina did her Sunday morning shout outs, I went and found a few more uh, channels. Hold on, I gotta turn you off. Okay, for those of you who are new, this side here is all um, high end makeup, and this side over here is all drugstore slash affordable. So that's how that works, and I pick one Thing from each category from each side sorry I have to readjust you now so I'm going to put everything away but I'm going to talk to you about each item before I put them away and then I will stop it show you clips of the makeup that I did um, for this past week with this this current bucket that's going back in to the collection and then um, we will go up to the makeup table after I pick out some new stuff. And then I'll show you what I've picked out as we put it into our weekly um, basket. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um, let's see. I did do the cover girl. This got used quite a few times. It's not bad. But I have some other things that I like better. But it, 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 for like, if you're traveling, this is perfect. This is perfect. Let me close this. So we'll just put that over here. This is my CXC Beauty, which is an indie brand. This is the blush palette that I chose for last week. Uh, you guys, I love CXC Beauty blush palettes. Um, I have two of them. I have this one, and then I have a darker shaded one. Um, I actually just ordered some more of his makeup. This is the darker shaded one. So I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. 
so I got a couple of things. I'm just not going to say nothing. Okay, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child. I actually did not use this, and I don't know why. It must have been hiding, and I just didn't see it. It's a great palette. Don't get me wrong. She is pretty. It is soft. Oh, why didn't I use this? Oh, my gosh. I almost, you know what? We're going we're gonna to leave it in. We're going to leave it in. I want to use that. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, this one I use as a blush, um, as a highlighter. It's a baked blush from Wet n Wild. It is really pretty, and I did use this. It is super soft. It's more of a like a rose gold kind of tone. It's really pretty. I don't use it as a blush. I use it as a highlighter. So that's where that's gonna go. Okay, CoverGirl. All of my CoverGirl items got used, I want to say, at least two of the looks, maybe three of the looks. Like, I did a full face of CoverGirl. So this is the setting powder. Um, it's okay. If you have really dry, um, like, dry aging skin, it, you're going to want some extra moisture on your face because it, it'll dry you out. But it's okay. We're gonna. I bought it. We're gonna use it. That's how that works. Okay. The Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. Y'all, I love my lashes. I'm trying to use up the mascaras. Like, do the mascara first and then my lashes, my falsies. I'm not a fan of mascara in general, so. It's, it's okay. What, baby? I know mama needs to get this video out, honey. I'm sorry. I'll be done in just a minute. Whoops. Oh, you know what? This is this is Project Pan. Sorry, this shouldn't have been in here. Hold on. Nope. All right. Oh, the Hourglass Mascara. Um, again, unless you're really into mascara... I mean, it's completely up to you. I think I got that in, I think it was a lucky bag. Not this year's lucky bag, but last year's lucky bag. Um, I did end up pulling the Jeffree Star Supreme Lip Gloss in Weirdo. Put that back in a minute. This is the AOA uh, Shop, Miss, Shop Miss A uh, Brow Pencil. I actually like this. That's not that wasn't too bad. Brows are up here. I would actually get that again. This is the white pencil. Oh, uh, Wet and Wild. I lost the tip because we were doing a makeup look, and I was trying to. Yeah, I'm. I'm. No, I'm not going to leave it off. But it's it's a white pencil liner, eyeliner. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I have a hard time with white um, eyeliners. They don't show up the way that I think they should. Maybe that's a me thing. So this is the CoverGirl um, concealer. A really good concealer. I wish it was a little more hydrating, but you do what you gotta do. It's okay. Let's see. This is the brow bar. Um, brow powder. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Do I have actual makeup in there? What is that? Oh yeah, that's makeup. Sweet. Yeah, some of these looks that you guys are about to see are just insane. They're gorgeous. If you are on my Instagram, Facebook, what have you, You've probably already seen them. Okay, this is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. I'm just trying, I I have Lele Posh's um, Amplify and my face base is on its way. I use those two religiously before any kind of makeup. However, I have so much primer that I'm just 
trying to use it up. I may have to put, you know what, I'm probably going to do like a project pan of just primers. The PPP, the three P's, primer project pan. Oh, I like that. All right. All right. This is the CXC, another product of uh, Christian's. The owner's name of CXC is Christian and his partner, Cole. Um, this is their... Oh my God, setting powder, hello. This is F2. I love this. I, again, dry aging skin. I need a finely milled setting powder. Normally, I would always go to my Jeffree Star, but this has such a strong um, cotton candy smell. Oh. Christian save the day. CXC, this is this is some good is good. It's good. I like it a lot. Okay, and then I used the Becca foundation and that did get used. I love this foundation. It's, it's perfect. Hank and Henry, what is this one? Big blickety this Okay, I accidentally picked up last week the blickety blue. I was wanting the blickety black. Um, again, I think I got that in a mystery box because I don't think I would have gotten the blue. Becca Primer. Just trying to go through my primers. This is a really good primer, though. Um, it is hydrating, so I do like that. CoverGirl BB Cream. I am super into BB Cream because they're hydrating. And then I did end up getting the Blickety Black out because I needed it for a look. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? This has blue body paint all over it. Okay, I need to clean this one, but it is, oh, it's the Cover Girl. That's the Cover Girl. I'm gonna put it up here because I gotta clean it. Um, ba -bum -bum. The Cargo Black Eyeliner. It's an eyeliner. She works real good. And then this one actually didn't get used at all. The Born This Way Concealer. Um, this dries out my under eyes like no other. I'm not a huge fan of it at all. Okay, so that is all of the makeup. I am going to pop up some pictures of this past week. And then we will come back, oh golly, and we'll pick some more makeup. All right, what'd you guys think of the, the makeup looks from this past week? Did you guys like them? Wasn't those fun? <laughs> okay, I'm going to real quick run through this and just start picking out a few items. Um, and then we will discuss them when we get up to the makeup table. Okay? So don't be leaving. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. We're going to speed, speed this up. And then um, put some music over top of it and we'll be right back. Okay?
and we're back. So, finally cleared off everything. I had to wipe everything down a couple of times. There was blue, body paint everywhere. There's at least a good layer on everything. Oh my god, it was so much fun though. Okay. Now, I did get my Ipsy bag for last month. Um, there are a few things in here that I'm not going to use. Um, that foundation. I am going to try the highlighter. I think the lip products were going to go. Um, my daughter and I, uh, we donate some of the makeup and then the bags to our local food bank once we've gotten in, you know, a good stash of them. So this foundation is actually going to go to one of my daughters, not the uh, the one that, you know, Caitlin, the one that's like white as a piece of paper, um, but the other one, I think she will like that. I'm going to keep the brush and this really pretty highlighter from St. Lux. So I'm going to put that in there too. I'm not sure if that's high end or affordable. I'll have to look that up. But it is a really pretty rose gold. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to put this off to the side for Shyla. This is going to go. I need to. Oh my gosh. I just ripped down all those boxes. Okay. I need to find a box um, to put these in. All right. So, I had to take my sweater off from earlier because I was starting to get hot up in here cleaning and stuff. Woo. Let's take this out. Take this out. This is one of the um, brushes because I have the bigger one. Yeah. That I got in like a boxy charm or something. So it's, this is the sister to it. Complex, complex cu culture. So a little eye brush. I can always use eye brushes. I am not mad at that. Okay. Alrighty. So this is really pretty. So I did have just go over with some, I have my project pan. This is the Hula Benefit Bronzer. I got that so long ago, it's not even funny. Um, I have this palette that I got a couple years back. They're all cream products. Um, that's in my project pan. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer is also in my project pan. This one is almost ready to be done. She's the, I almost said unique, Urban Decay 24-7 Black. Um, I, I used this so much the last couple of days. She's, she's almost done. She's almost done. That's project pan. Um, the setting spray, this one here, that's a project pan, so that'll go back up there. Um, this, the Pretty Fresh um, Concealer, this just always stays in there, so if I have to cut the crease, um, that's the closest one to a white. I'm sorry, I keep saying um. And then the Tarte Ego, Big Ego Mascara, that is project pan. And then here is the Nomad Tokyo palette that I did not get any use of. I will keep that up there. Again, normally I do a pick my palette. Um, I just did it again. Um, but this week I did not do one. Okay, so we're going to put this highlighter up here so that I can test it out. Here is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This would be the higher end setting spray. I picked the Ofra. What is this? Oh, I just did this one. That's okay. I literally just grab stuff out. 
but this is the glazed donut. I know there's a lot of hoopla going on with uh, Ofra right now, but y'all, I have these products. I'm going to use them. So not a whole lot I can do about it. Not that I agree with anything, but there I have them. I'm going to use them. This is bronzer palette from Alamar Cosmetics. And I hit pan right there. Aha. This one is a... Mm, we're, we're losing the uh, stamp, as you can see. So that's cool. So I'm going to put that in there. I love this palette. I also have the blush. Wait, where is it? Oh, oh I see. You're in the way. Okay, we'll just put it right there. The Juvia's Place. I bought this such a long time ago, and I don't really, really haven't used it. This is in the. Sh is there a shade name? Uh, app. No. Uh, Safari. Is that it? I don't know, but she's real pretty. So we're going to use that. So I'm gonna, oh, put that there. Actually, maybe it needs to go over there. And then I picked out the Ofra Banana Setting Powder, Banana Powder. I've always wanted to try this. So we're going to do that. And then we got for a foundation high end is the Found Sealer. I love this. Love, love, love. So, mascara. This is a sample size of the Laura Mercier. Right there. Again, it's just a mascara. My Jeffree Star Concealer. Brought by her. Um, I do like Jeffree Star's concealers because they are very hydrating. This is the It Cosmetics No Tug Eyeliner in black. And this is Billion Dollar Brow Gel. Billion Dollar Brows Gel. Oh, and you're clear. Okay, I'll have to pick another one, but this is clear. Because this is clear, we have Too Faced Hangover Primer. Whoop. Ja, ja, ja. Oh, this goes with the Billion Dollar Brow. That's what it was. This is the Billion Dollar Brow actual pencil liner. So, because I'm keeping the high end um, up here, I did just reach in and just randomly grab, and we got the Elf Sunset Rose Gold palette, which is so stinking pretty. So there's that. So I've got my high end and my affordable right there. The affordable highlighter is this one here. It was I Heart Beauty. I Heart Revolution Chocolate Elixir Glow. So this they're really dry. They look really dry, but they're pretty. I'll work with them. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then I have the okay, so this is a highlighter and a contour palette from Profusion. I really like their um, bronzer. Okay. And then this is the blush palette from Profusion. I like this palette too. I will normally go into all four of these at the same time or all four of these at the same time. So stinking pretty. Okay. 
And then this is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I don't have a lot of drugstore slash affordable makeup. I don't know how that happened because when I first started doing makeup and doing these videos, I had more drugstore slash affordable than I did the high end. Somehow that, that, that got flipped. I, got, I, don't, I don't know. So well, this will go. And it's good. I like it. I do like it. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is, I don't know where the cap is, but it's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid. It's kind of, it's like a BB cream. CC cream, whatever you want to call it. Tinted moisturizer. I stink and love this stuff. This is almost like my It Cosmetics BB cream. CC cream? You know what I'm, you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just like that. And again, I don't, I don't know where the lid is. There is one, but I don't know what happened to it. She's just going to fall. Okay. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Gorgeous. This is almost, I did, in fact, I did a review or a comparison video between this and the Tatcha. The Silk Canvas. I did a comparison video between these two. And uh, it's, they're the same. So it, if you want something like this without paying the ticket price, go get you one of these. This is $8. $8. Okay. Tatcha, however, is not, which is why it's up here. Because if I put it in the bins, the girls are going to come shopping and someone's going to jack it. And then I'm going to have to get really upset. All right. Cody Airspun. Um... Setting, uh, setting powder. I was in love with this stuff when it first came, well, when I first started wearing makeup. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. When I first started wearing makeup, I was in love with this. Then I found out that they're not cruelty free. And then I, I don't know, I still like it though. I haven't used it in a really long time. I love the smell of it. I know it smells like baby powder. I don't know. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. I love the smell of it. All right. Oops. Everything's falling over. This goes down first. Then this can go in. This is, oh, that's because that's a primer. Okay. All right, we got it. It's that. So now the high end or the affordable mascara, which is a mascara and a conditioner both, which is the e.l.f. And then, of course, again, the Cody, the, the CoverGirl concealer, because I don't, don't have that many. Uh, oh, the e.l.f. eyeliner. E.l.f. eyeliner. That one is go right there. That can go there. And then the Pixie fix, Fixing Mist for our low end, or affordable rather. And then, oh, I don't know why. I'd... Okay, I'm gonna put this back. We've got a lot of highlighters already out. That's that's too many highlighters. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. All right, y'all. That's it, that's our makeup for the week. That's what we will be using. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you will also be getting a video in a little while because today's Sunday and y'all know um, this is Fab Fit Mama. We also do cooking on Sunday. Um, so shortly after this video, you're going to get Sunday dinner. So you get two videos today. You're welcome. All right, y'all. Until next time. See y'all later. Bye.